Hello and welcome to our daily learning video. Today we're not doing a letter of the day. Instead, we're going to be doing some learning that's centered around Dr. Seuss. Today is Dr. Seuss's birthday, March the 2nd. Well, we're going to start with our reading and phonics time. So if you'd like to, take a look at the link below and see if you can get this printable. So we're going to be see if we're going to see if we can read some words that end with a and t. Let's talk about what that sounds like, okay? And then we'll read some words. Okay, so a makes this sound like this, ah, like when you're sneezing, ah. Now t makes this sound like this, like a ticking clock. T -t 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 -t. So let's put these two sounds together. Can you help me read this? At, 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 at. So this says at. Now I want us to really lock that in because all of the words that we're going to read today are going to have this at the end. So I want you to say this in your big, giant, Jack and the Beanstalk, giant voice. Are you ready? Say it in your big voice. At. You try that again, how about it? At. Okay, now we're gonna say it in our tiny little mouse squeaky voice. At. At. Now let's say it in our robot voice. At. 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 Now let's say it in a whisper. At. 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 Well, we're going to be using this, and this says at, but in the front of this, we're going to be adding another letter. So I want this to say cat. So what letter makes this sound? K, 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 like when you're cutting. K, 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 k. It's letter C. So now let's try to read this word, okay? At, cat, cat, cat. So look on this worksheet and see if you can fill in the first blank with the letter C. This says cat. Okay, let's do another one, okay? This time I want to spell hat. So what letter makes this sound like this? <sighs> like when you're running and you're breathing hard. <sighs> what letter makes that sound? Letter H. So let's read this word. <sighs> At. Hat. Hat. Good job. So on your paper, I want you to write a letter H for the second blank. Hat. So we have cat and hat. Let's read the next one. I'm going to get rid of the H. And this time I want this to say bat. So what letter makes this sound? B, 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 like when you're popping bubbles. B, 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 b. That's letter B. So let's read this word. Let's put a B. And then let's read it. B, at, bat, bat. Nice job. Let's put the letter B in the third blank on your sheet. Okay, so we have cat and hat and bat. Let's read another one. This time, I want to use the letter that makes this sound. Mmm, like when you're eating cake. There's a cake in our story we're going to read. Mmm, what letter makes that sound? Letter M. So let's read this together. Mmm, at. Matt. 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 So on your paper. I want you to write a letter M. Okay, so, so far we have cat, hat, bat, 
and Matt. And we have one more. This time, I want to use the letter that makes this sound like a snake. What letter sounds like that? Letter S. It even looks like a snake. Let's read this, okay? S at. S at. Sat. Sat. Okay, so let's add the letter S in the last blank on our page. So let's go back and see if we can read all the words, okay? K at. What's that word? Cat. At. Hat. B. At. Bat. M. At. Mat. S. At. Sat. Well, I want to show you something that you can do to help you to read words like this. Now, I used a washable marker on my hands. You don't write on your hands, but you can clap the words out. I'll show you how to do it. So there's a letter C and there's an AT. AT says at. So I can just do this. I can say at cat and clap them together. Let's try the, another one, okay? Let's try at cat. Can you help me? Let's this time try the letter B. B at bat. Now let's try an M. M at mat. Now let's try S. S at sat. Now all of these words come from the at word family and they all rhyme because the ending sounds are all the same. Maybe you can think of other words that rhyme with at, like r at rat or n at nat. Okay, now we're going to do some math together. For math today, we're going to be playing a game and I'm going to see if I can put the link below so that you can get a copy of this hat and the stripes. But if you don't have this copy, it's no problem. You can just watch me on the screen or you can easily make a hat and cut out some stripes to go on top. Okay, we're gonna roll the dice together. I want you to tell me what number this is. What number is this? This is our number recognition practice. That's the number three. Can you say three? Okay, let's add three stripes to the hat. One, two, three. Good job. Okay, now let's roll again, okay, and see how many stripes we need on the hat. Oh, what number is this? Five. Can you say five? Now we already have three stripes. What am I gonna do? I need five stripes. Should I take some away? Should I add some more on? I have three, but I want five. I have one, two, three. So I should add some more, four, five. So I added two more. So three, plus two more makes one, two, three, four, five. Nice job. Okay, let's roll again. What number is this? That's the number two. Well, I already have five stripes. What am I gonna do? I need only two. I should take some away. How many should I take away? I should take away three, and now do I have two stripes? One, two, yes, I do. So five, take away three, makes two. Okay, let's roll again. What number is this? That's the number four. Well, I have two stripes. What am I gonna do? I need four. I should add some more. How many should I add? 
I already have two, one, two. So I should add two more. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's count and see how many I have. One, two, three, four. Oh, you were right. Two plus two more equals four. Well, you can continue playing this game. It's a great game that makes you think about taking away or adding. Okay, now for our color practice, we're going to be talking about three colors that Dr. Seuss Cat in the Hat has on him. First of all, he has a super cool hat and his hat is red and white. And then he has some whiskers and fur and his whiskers and fur are black. So in the poem, you're gonna hear the colors red, white and black. Okay, let's say this together. You'll pick on pick it up really quickly. I have a hat. It's white and red. I wear it on the top of my head. I have whiskers and fur that is black and people call me the cat in the hat. Let's say that one more time. I have a hat, it's white and red. I wear it on the top of my head. I have whiskers and fur that is black and people call me the cat in the hat. Well, today for art, we're gonna be making a hat so let me change my camera view so I can show you. So here are the things we're gonna need for today's art project. And I'm gonna put a link below so that you can get a template of how to make this. All I need is a toilet roll. And I just rolled around the toilet roll, just a piece of white paper. I'm just gonna tape it into place, but you could also glue it. And then I'm going to take a circle I'm gonna draw a circle and then I'm going to draw a circle in the middle, the same width as my toilet roll. I'm gonna cut that middle part out and then I'm gonna slip it down on top of the toilet roll. Now this makes a nice little white hat. It's super tall like Dr. Seuss's hat, but Dr. Seuss's hat is not white, it's white and red. So here I have some stripes that I'm gonna add. You could also color the stripes with a marker or crayon if you'd like. So I'm just wrapping the stripes around the toilet roll. I'm using tape. You could also use glue. I'm leaving a little bit of space between the stripes because Dr. Seuss's hat has a pattern. It's red, white, red, white, red, white. Okay, so now that makes a super cute Dr. Seuss hat. But we're not finished. If you'd like to, you can use the printable, the template that I'm going to leave below, and you can make a little cat on, put him on the stick, and then you can actually make a cat in the hat. So that's our art project for today. Let me come back around, and we'll do some social studies. Well, social studies is just learning about people and the places around you. So today we're going to be learning about Dr. Seuss. This is what Dr. Seuss looks like here. He's holding one of the books that he's written, The Cat in the Hat. This is Dr. Seuss in his younger days. Dr. Seuss wrote many, many books. In fact, he wrote over 60 books. Maybe you can play I Spy and find the book that I'm going to read to you today. It's called The Cat in the Hat. Dr. Seuss wrote lots and lots of books, but he wasn't really a doctor. He was an author. His name was Theodore Seuss Geisel, and he was born March the 2nd in 1904 in Massachusetts. Here's something I'd like for you to know about Dr. Seuss that maybe you didn't know before. Dr. Seuss is such a great author, and his books are so cool and amazing. But when Dr. Seuss wrote his first book, because that's what authors do, they write the words for books, he took it to a publisher and he gave those words to the publisher and said, can you make this into a book? And the publisher said, no. So Dr. Seuss didn't give up. He took those words to a different publisher and he said, could you make this into a book? 
And the publisher said, mm, no. Well, he didn't give up. He just shook it to another publisher and said, can you make this into a book? And this time the publisher said, no. In fact, Dr. Seuss did that 27 times with his very first book before it was ever published. So doesn't that tell you that hmm, if Dr. Seuss didn't give up and now he has over 60 books that are read and loved by children around the world, then maybe we should keep trying and not give up. Okay, well, I'm going to read a story to you today. It's one of Dr. Seuss's most famous books. It's called The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we two. And I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house. We did nothing at all. So all we could do was to sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it, not one little bit. And then something went bump. And how that bump made us jump. We looked, then we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks, I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. And Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. But our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Now, now, have no fear. Have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have lots of good fun if you wish with a game that I call up, up, up with that fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball with a book on one hand and a cup on my hat. But that is not all I can do, said the cat. Look at me, look at me now, said the cat with a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. I can hold up two books, I can hold up two fish, I can hold up the fish and the little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball and that is not all, oh no, that is not all. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. I can hold a toy ship and a little toy man. And look, with my tail, I can hold a red fan. I can fan with the fan as I hop on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. That is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball. And Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it, not one little bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house, look at this, look at that. You sank our toy ship, sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when our mother is not. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. But I like it here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat, so, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. And then he ran out, and then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back with a box, a big red wood box. It was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things. I will show them to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the hook. You will see something new. Two things and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to have fun. 
Then out of the box came thing two and thing one, and they ran to us fast. They said, how do you do? How would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? And Sally and I didn't know what to do, so we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, no, no, those things should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and he gave them a pat. They are tame, oh, so tame. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. Now here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, no, not in this house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a house. They should not. Oh, the things they will bump. Oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it, not one little bit. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump down the wall in the hall. Thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down. On the string of one kite, we saw mother's new gown. Her gown with the dots, they're pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Then our fish said, look, look, and our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home, do you hear? Oh, what will she will do? What will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. So do something fast, said the fish, do you hear? I saw her, your mother, your mother is near. So as fast as we can, think of something to do. You'll have to get rid of thing one and thing two. So as fast as I could, I went after my net. And I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Then I let down my net and it came down with a plop. And I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, now you do as I say. You pack up those things and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat, you did not like our game. Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Then he shut up the things in the box with the hook and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish, he's gone away, yes. But your mother will come. She'll find this big mess. And this mess is so big and so deep and so tall. We cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. And then who was back in the house? Why the cat? Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings. And so I will show you another good trick that I know. Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the strings and the books and the dish and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish and he put them away. Then he said, that is that. And then he was gone with the tip of his hat. Then our mother came in and she said to us too, did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I didn't know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now, what should we do? Well. What would you do if your mother asked you? The end. What would you do? What should they do? I think they should tell, don't you? They should tell their mother. The Bible says to honor your mother and your father. So I definitely think they should tell. But what a day they had. That rainy day turned out to be fun. I hope you had a fun day today too. I'll see you tomorrow for our letter of the day video. Goodbye.